good afternoon everyone how's it going so my name is denzel i haven't done a youtube video in a minute so i might be a little rusty i might be awkward i might be weird but we're gonna get through this together i want to talk about a shirt uh, more of like a not a t-shirt but a shirt by no maintenance if you have not heard of this brand before i definitely highly recommend you check them out they have definitely have been in the game lately where you've seen a lot of celebrities wear their merch um, where what they have to offer in terms of their vintage finds so it's a combination between both really like their vintage because they i feel like the vintage is like vintage minimalistic slash archival which is which is something i always look for and they always have more of like tones and set the tones and themes that i'm looking for when it comes to fashion in my personal opinion but anyways i want to review their their shirt that just came out a couple months ago i think it's been about two months now this is the no heaven without you shirt um if you guys have not seen pictures of this, definitely check out their Instagram, and I'll definitely probably post some pictures real quick of what a me wearing a me wearing this. This shirt I got in the teal, so it's the same shirt I believe that uh, you probably caught Joe Jonas wearing in one of his pictures. Check out their Instagram if you want to see that. But I personally wanted a button up like this for like the going out occasions, but it has a very nice pop to it. Um, it has that silky appearance, and that silky appearance is actually the fabric acetate. Um, it's very similar to rayon, but it's made, but I'll give you a quick history lesson. You know, there are spun filaments of cellulose taken from wood pulp. Um, it's classified as a chemical fiber textile or a semi-synthetic. Um, sometimes it makes it with silk, wool, wool, cotton to make it stronger. Um, but basically, it's the second oldest manufactured fiber in the United States after rayon. Acetate was first used in France as an airplane wing varnish and then later developed as a fiber in the UK in 1923. So what can I say about this shirt? So looking at this shirt, it's very, very flowy. Like I'm looking around, like see me moving it. It's like flowing, it's moving in the air breeze. It's beautiful. Um, I really love, I really love the bowling shirt aesthetic. So it's a very, more of a boxy, but cropped look. So when you wear it, it's very up on your waist. So if you're not used to that, I would recommend, you know, trying to find something in the thrift store that's very similar to that kind of style. And see if you're comfortable with it because I know some people are like weird about having you know the crop come on down but honestly the shirt it's a very nice shirt and I think it's that kind of shirt that you you know you don't want to wear anything else that can clash with it so what I would do is I would personally wear like a black tank black pants and then black shoes just to let this this piece pop out the price point I believe is around hundred and sixty eight dollars if I remember correctly um, I personally love the piece I can't wear it enough it is a bit too hot for me to wear it um believe it or not where i live in texas so whenever i get to wear pieces like this i, I relish and i love wearing pieces like this but the issue is it gets boiling hot during the day so you know this is like a piece i would wear at night going out to the club or at night going to an audi or something like that um but you know that's just my quick take on it you know i love the piece i'm glad i wore it and I'm glad I have it right now. Maybe I'll get the black. I'm not sure. So I think this was, I think this is like a little thing I want to do is maybe do like a quick fashion review thing about shirts or pants, anything that I just got and just talk to you guys about it real quick. Maybe give a little history lesson. I think it's always cool to teach people about, you know, what the origin of this is or why this is made, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, Tell me what you guys think below. And I hope you guys have been well. I'm going to definitely push more videos out. Um, you know, I always say that. But this time, you know, I just got a sudden inspiration just to record any some more. So thank you guys so much for checking me out. Peace.